Now let's take a look at how to do opacity and transparency in Arnold. Now I separated this out because it is a different process than you would normally see in a renderer. Not only do you have to set it up in the material, you also have to set it up in the geometry. So there is a little bit more process to getting uh, transparent objects in Arnold. So let's go ahead and make this object transparent. I'm going to select it. It's called NURBS Sphere 1. And we're going to go into Lighting Shading, Assign New Material. I'm going to go over to the Arnold tab here, and I want to just select an AI standard material. So now once I have that selected, let's go into the Hypershade and actually author this material. So I've got AI Standard 3, which is this particular material. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just turn up the exposure here, make sure I'm in Arnold. And now with this AI Standard material, we can certainly give it a color. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just give it a reasonably nice color here. And we can go through, add some specularity. Now if this is glassy, it's going to be a little bit shiny. And then we also have reflection, which we certainly want to add just a little bit. I'm going to add about 0.1 for reflection. Now, the key element here for transparency and opacity is the refraction rollout. So what we need to do is we need to work with the opacity slider. So if I turn this down, it will create opacity. And as you can see, it's starting to render that out. You can see that the object is slightly opaque. And we can also affect uh, refraction. So if we want, we can give it an index of refraction. I'm going to give it, say, an index of, say, 0.95. And then we can also turn up the weight of that refraction if we want. So I'm going to turn that up to about 0.1 or 0.2. So now that I have this material, you can see it's semi-transparent here and I have it in the scene. Now, you're not seeing the transparency in the scene, and that's one thing that Arnold's not showing up in the viewports. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a render of this scene. Now with the scene rendered, you can see that we've got the color and the reflectivity and the specularity, but we don't have the transparency, and we specifically put it into our shader. Now, in order to actually get opacity into Arnold, we need to set a switch on the geometry. So I'm going to select my geometry, go into my attribute editor, and under the shape node, I should have an Arnold rollout. So it's usually the second tab in, and it's the one that says shape. And what you're looking for is the opaque tab. Click that off. When you click that off, it allows the object to be transparent. And now with opaque turned off, let's go ahead and do another render. And here's the final render. And as you can see, we've got transparency and we also have a little bit of refraction as well. So remember, when you work with opacity in Arnold, you need to make sure that you go into the attribute editor and turn opaque off.